Hi everybody, this is Kim. I'm back again with another video. Welcome to all my new subscribers. What's up to the people who've been rocking and rolling with your girl from day one. Or if you've been here for a while, thank you for always coming back and checking my videos out. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm still on that road to 5K, baby. Also, follow me on Instagram. Trying to get my numbers all the way up over there as well. Watch my entire video. Thumbs up. And leave me some comments. Did you get this candle on Candle Day? Linen sheets. Let's talk about this candle. Linen sheets. As y'all see, the packaging has that little marble look. It's a wraparound cream color wax and I actually just relit this candle but this is probably my third time burning this candle but as you see it's a cream colored wax three wick candle of course I had a little mushrooming but not much just a little bit let's get into the review of this candle the scent notes is fresh ocean air Anjou pear violet petals and warm vanilla um, as far as the scent of this candle most definitely get that violet oh my god it that violet for me is very very strong and it makes this candle more of a floral candle um very fresh candle as far as the vanilla i don't smell any vanilla in this candle like i said the first note that I smell is the violet and it could be because I really don't care for violet but that note is super strong super super strong so to, for me if you don't like floral scented candles and I personally do like floral scented candles but I like certain floral candles this is most definitely a fresh floral scented candle. Um, as far as these other notes in it, as far as the pear, the fresh ocean air, I don't know what fresh ocean air is supposed to even be, but maybe that's where the fresh part of this candle is coming from. I don't know. As far as the warm vanilla, I don't get vanilla in this candle. I mainly get that violet, and that violet is strong for me. Um, I burnt this candle for a couple of hours because that's all I could take. This candle is so strong. <laughs> it is so strong. Uh, a high eight. No, it's about an eight. The throw on this candle is probably an eight. It was to the point where I had to blow it out because it was just doing something to my um, sinus so I, I couldn't I couldn't really take a lot of this candle so for me I would probably only burn this candle for maybe two hours and after that I will put it out because it's just so strong for me um, it's not one of those florals that I personally love and I do like floral scented candles, but in this linen sheets candle, that violet is just so strong for me and I, I can't take it. Um, I can't take the, it just, it does something to my sinuses, but I do, I do like the scent. Um, I'm not in love with the scent, but I could tolerate the scent. Um, yeah, I didn't have any burn issues from what I could remember. No burn issues at all. Um, I think this candle, it didn't really burn hot, but I think I did get a little mushrooming on the wicks when I was burning because I did just trim the wicks. Um, so I think I did get a little mushrooming, not much. Uh, other than that, the candle was just okay. Will I get backups of this? No, I'm too undone because y'all do know I bought this candle on candle day. I originally bought four of these candles by accident. So I did return two and I kept two. Um, but that's all. I'm, I'm just too undone. You know, I don't need no backups. I don't need, this isn't hoard worthy for me. Um, this candle is just okay for me. 
you know, just small doses of this candle for me. But if you're the type and you love violet, you love floral scented candles, this is a must have. This is a must have because it is strong on the floral side of things. I thought linen sheets would be more of a soft, um, cotton like. That's what I thought this can this candle was going to be, um, but no, it's not. The name does not match the notes. If you ask me, linen sheets, like I said, should be something that's soft. You know, um, something that's that's like fresh, but soft. That's just the what I think. Um, like if it was just a pear and the warm vanilla. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I just I just thought that this candle will be more way softer than what it is. I just I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't even think I read the notes in the candle when I bought it. I think I just bought it because it was something new that Bath and Body Works had. You know, I do not smell the candles in the store. I always wait until I leave the store and basically come home before I actually smell the candles. So I personally didn't know that this was more of a floral candle. I thought it would be more of a soft, um, like clean sheets type of scent. You know, you I know. never thought that, you know, that this candle will be giving me what is giving me floral. But like I said, the throw is strong, no real mushrooming on the wicks. I didn't have any problems with the pulling, um, pulling out. I didn't have any problems with that at all. Packaging, as far as the marble look, it's okay. It's kind of plain, but it's okay. You know, um, it's just a wraparound. It's just a plain Jane candle. Nothing special. Um, I feel like Bath & Body Works does floral scents like this every season. So, you ain't missing nothing if you didn't get this candle at all. You're not missing nothing. This is just another floral candle so that's my take on this linen sheets candle so let me know if you got this candle what do you think about this candle do you get floral is your candle throwing like my candle at like a eight let me know that at the bottom don't forget to subscribe because i'm trying to reach that 5k and also follow me on instagram because i'm trying to get the numbers up over there as well and i'll see y'all in the next one all right peace